my name is Sarah Antel, and today I am taking you beyond the headlines with Ballotpedia. In today's episode, we are chatting all about the first presidential primary debate taking place in Miami, Florida at the end of this month. 20 candidates qualified for this. They had to meet either polling or grassroots fundraising thresholds in order to do so. And as you can imagine, 20 is a lot of people to fit on stage. So because of this, the DNC had to split the event into two separate nights. Now, in order to avoid what you might call an undercard event, they decided to do a random drawing in order to spread the candidates out across the two different nights. Now, before they even did the random drawing, they split the group into two, those who polled above an average of 2% and those who polled below an average of 2%. Once those two groups were established, they went ahead and randomly and equally divided them across the two different nights. I think we should go ahead and take a look at the lineup for the two nights. I've got my trusty notes here. Let's dive in. The first night is going to be Wednesday, June 26th. And on that night, we can expect to see Cory Booker, Julian Castro, Bill de Blasio, John Delaney, Tulsi Gabbard, Jay Inslee, Amy Klobuchar, Beto O'Rourke, Tim Ryan, and Elizabeth Warren. So that's night one. Night two's lineup, it's the very next night, Thursday, June 27th. We have Michael Bennett, Joe Biden, Pete Buttigieg, Kirsten Gillibrand, Kamala Harris, John Hickenlooper, Bernie Sanders, Eric Swalwell, Marianne Williamson, and Andrew Yang. So those are the 20 candidates you can expect to see across two different nights at the first debate. Now, there are four candidates, Montana Governor Steve Bullock, former Senator Mike Gravel, Miramar Mayor Wayne Messam, and Representative Seth Moulton, who you will not be seeing on the debate stage. These four candidates did not meet either polling or grassroots fundraising thresholds in time to qualify for this first debate. Now, they will get a second chance to qualify. They'll have to meet those same qualifying thresholds, but there's the second round of debates coming up in Detroit, Michigan, July 30th and 31st. So televised presidential debates, they've become such a staple in modern American politics. I know I've seen and heard clips of the famous history-making 1960 presidential election debate between Richard Nixon, and John F. Kennedy. You've probably seen or heard clips of it too. That really set the tone for modern American politics. Now, did you know that the first presidential debate actually took place four years prior? That's right, so May 21st, 1956, ABC broadcasted a presidential primary debate for the Democrats. It was between Adlai Stevenson and Estes Kefauver. And would you believe it was hosted in Miami, Florida? How cool is that? For more information, please visit Ballotpedia.org on all things 2020 general election. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time beyond the headlines.